It's a beautiful day. Dune, 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 dune. Don't let it get away. Bessies, I don't know why I sing you two every time it's a beautiful day, but they really did that with those lyrics. I noticed that when I was recording my vlogs, that my face wouldn't be focused a lot of the time, so I just changed the settings on my camera. So let me know how you like them. But it is the most beautiful day. It is cold, it is frosty, it is sunny, and we're going to the gym. Also, I'm wearing my half girl merch. Can anyone else help me with this issue? I love wearing multiple necklaces and chains like I am now. This is my carnelian that I got in Dingle a few vlogs back. I'm gonna just put it on one of my gold chains, which I love the look of like multiple necklaces layering, but they always get tangled. How do you not get your necklaces tangled? Or is it just this like secret secret that like you're always just untangling your necklaces if you have multiple necklaces on if anyone could let me know but yeah, i'm wearing the hot girl merch this is the hot girl energy crew the black on black it's one of my favorites i was about to say it's one of the best sellers but i don't think it is but it should be it's so soft and it's so like it says hot girl energy but it's like black on black so it's like quite not in your face but then if you're in sunlight you can kind of see the hot girl energy text happy vlogmas day 15 i cannot believe i have done two weeks straight of vlogmas over two weeks now it's actually magic to me anyway my camera's about to die because i didn't charge it last night in true vlogmas fashion so you know why i love the winter sun is because you can do a full outfit with sunglasses and it's so fine because <laughs> you will know these sunglasses might as well be like glued to my head when I'm outside because number one they are the perfect sunglasses they suit my face so well I'm obsessed with them but number two I don't want to be out here squinting in the sun like I really don't like I really just want to be not squinting in the sun so yeah anytime you see me if you ever see me you will see me with my sunglasses on if i am outside i don't care if it's cloudy i don't care what's going on i will not be squinting my eyes the full outfit today is the black hot girl merch i actually need to get a lint roller because i left mine in dublin and then i just have black alpha leggings on and of course my uggs for walking in the cold the question of the day remains will i go to the sauna or not who knows but we're going to the gym i'm gonna get a can of monster on the way oh my god look how festive it is it is so cute i bought a rain which i know is out of character for me but i've already had a monster today so we went for this this actually takes phenomenal one thing about christmas is it it's a hot chocolate season. And I don't know if you know this about me, I've never shared this before, but I make amazing hot chocolate. So I went to Super Value, I got all the bits, I'm gonna show you what I got and the ingredients. And we're gonna make this together because you deserve, we all deserve a stunning hot chocolate this festive season. So you could kind of say I'm sharing my biggest secret with you right now, because this is a generational recipe that is starting with me. <laughs> This recipe is gonna go down in generations. The most important thing when you're making a festive hot chocolate is the mug. This one is gold, white, making spirits bright. It is Christmas, it is festive. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fill the mug with boiling water, which I've already done. The reason we do that is because we wanna get the mug warm and cozy and hot because I don't like the milk of my hot chocolate to be boiling to the point where it's uncomfortable. So we make the mug hot so it keeps the milk warm at a nice temperature, but it's not too hot. Now I'm gonna go through the ingredients. So we have some Nutella. We have a Kinder Happy Hippo Biscuit. We have Kinder Chocolate, just one bar. We have Milky Bar, white chocolate. Good old Lee Strand Milk. This is my favorite milk. For a few years there, I was on this whole nut milk thing. I am not dairy intolerant and I just decided to drink cashew milk and almond milk and all the milks. And then I was realizing I was spending so much money on milk. So I just switched back to regular schmegular 
dairy Lee strand milk if you are from Kerry this is this is actually the best milk in the world and the reason I was drinking nut milk was because I was in Sydney and I was in Dublin and I was in Dubai and I was in places that did not have Lee strand but when you have Lee strand in your life as an option you use Lee strand milk that is just my number one rule in life we also have a milk -a bar this is kind of like the bake with me videos we're kind of giving bake with me video energy anyways you are not human if you like pink marshmallows. White marshmallows are the only marshmallows that you should get. I got the mini, mini white ones for like aesthetic and decorational purposes. Also, I don't like the pink marshmallows. They're too sweet. They add a different vibe to the hot chocolate. White marshmallows only. So now we're on to the utensils you're gonna need. You're gonna need a pot. Yes, I said pot. We do not make our hot chocolate in the microwave. Okay, you can do that if you want, but I have a pot today because we are being extra. This hot chocolate is legendary. This hot chocolate is going to make you the favorite at the holiday party. If you have someone that you need to impress this year, even if it's yourself, Joa, if you need to give yourself some reassurance that you're doing great, make this hot chocolate for this yourself. Then we have a grater and then we have a frother. Right, so how I measure out how much milk I need because there's no point having too much milk or too little milk. You want to have just the right amount of milk. Is And Ben and his friends are here, so I'm making them all hot chocolate. So we're going to get their reviews. Pour the milk into a mug of the size that you're using. Yeah. And then you pour it into the pot. And you do that for as many cups of hot chocolate as you need. So now what we're doing is we're boiling the milk on a low heat. You don't want to heat the milk too much. And you just want to leave it there and stir it. This is the very boring part of the hot chocolate. And I'm also, controversial, going to add some salt to the milk. Trust me. Trust me. Not a lot. Just a little, like one or two squeezes of salt. This is one of my secrets, okay? You all just have to trust me on this one because I'm a Taurus. When it comes to food and recipes and everything, I know what I'm doing. I would not try to put you on to some weird recipe that wasn't nice. That would be my nightmare. While the hot chocolate milk is doing its thing, it's on a low heat, don't worry. I'm stirring it every few minutes. I'm just gonna show you what I do. So I get the jar of Nutella. You can use Nutella, you can use a little or Aldi alternative. You can use whatever chocolate spread substance you want. You can just use chocolate, but I use Nutella. And we get a spoon and we put the spoon of Nutella into each mug. Salt is a flavor enhancer. We don't want things to taste salty, but the salt enhances the flavor. So I put a crackle of salt, as you can see, on top of the Nutella. So that is sitting there. And then we're just gonna open our chocolate bars. This is essentially a cooking show and I hope you are enjoying it because I'm so excited for this hot chocolate. Like you have no idea like where we are going with this. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking the Milka bar and I'm taking two squares of each Milka into the bottom of the hot chocolate cup as well. So now we have the Nutella, the crack salt, the Milka bar, and this is all just sitting in the bottom of this mug. And then what we are doing is we are taking some Milky Bar. So we have Nutella, we have Milka Bar, and we have Milky Bar. Because what you really want is really strong tasting hot chocolate. You don't want this hot chocolate to be weak. You want this to be strong and flavorful. So again, two squares of each Milky Bar into the bottom of the bowl of the cup. I already told you besties, this is a recipe. We're, we're not playing around with this hot chocolate recipe, trust me. We have the milk, it's not boiling, but it's not cold. It's very important to have your milk not bubbling because we don't want it to get that weird skin thing over the top. Ugh. So now 
that the milk is like not even a third of the way up. That's when we mix all the chocolate together and that's when we do this because this makes sure that you don't have a big lump of chocolate at the end of your cup. The big lump of chocolate is the flavor. We have one Kinder Happy Hippo. Now this was supposed to go in my entire cup, but that was before I knew Ben and his friends were here. So I'm gonna cut this into three. And the whole idea of cutting the Happy Hippo is to get that hazelnutty inside of the Kinder Bueno flavor in each cup. So what we're doing is we're cutting it up and we're putting it just in the bottom of each cup and that lovely hazelnutty flavor will be in it. Now, if you have a Merck and Spencer's near you, they do the Kinder Bueno sauce and you can absolutely get that if you need to or if you have access to it, but I didn't today. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting that Happy Hippo into the cup and leaving that melt. Next step, we take the milk that was in on the pot, staying nice and warm and we pour that. Now we leave a good chunk of space between where the milk ends and the top of the cup because that is going to be for cream, decorations, marshmallows. So as you can see, there's space in each of the top. So what we do is we put a light layer of marshmallow in each. You can put as many or as little as you want. And what we're doing here is we're grating the chocolate before we put on any cream or anything we're grating some extra chocolate so we really have that like unreal chocolatey flavor and then of course we're doing that with the white chocolate Of course, you don't have to make them that high. And then we get the Kinder chocolate. And you already know we are grating the Kinder chocolate on top of this, of the cream. So as you can see, we just grate that on there. So we have three hot chocolates in the three mugs. The grated chocolate on top. And then of course, to finish it off, some marshmallows. Oh my God, I'm so excited to do a taste test. I'm actually the queen of Christmas and I, Lexi. Sorry, not my Bichon Freeze wanting all the attention. So we're gonna do a taste test. Oh my God, it's unreal. Wait till you taste it. I want your reactions off camera. Oh. Is it nice? <laughs> it's nice, yeah, it's nice. Uh, one out of ten would you give it? Mm. Ten out of ten. Ten. Ten out of ten. Mm. Well, you have to make some cream in Oh, you have to make cream in so besties, that is my hot chocolate recipe of the season. I want you to comment, how would you make it better? Because look, I'm always open to learn. I don't know everything. I know a lot of things, I don't know everything. I wanna know, how would you make that recipe better? What would you do? I want you to try it and I want your reviews of the hot chocolate. Happy Vlogmas day 15. I just finished that hot chocolate and it was an experience. It was, I've actually outdone myself and this is just to prove this is the end of the glass and see how there's not like a big lump of chocolate stuck to the end. That is what you wanna see when you finish your glass of hot chocolate or a cup of hot chocolate because you don't want a big chunk of chocolate at the end because that means all the flavor is at the end of the cup and not in your body. So I hope you enjoyed me sharing my very big secret with you because I think this will all change your lives forever and your family's lives and your friends' lives and your boyfriend's lives and your girlfriend's lives.